hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about a development tip that you can use to save your development time so once we are developing a module you know we continuously we have to go to the apps menu and have to upgrade the module to see those changes so earlier in the same channel we have released a video on how to use that watchdog package which will automatically restart the service if you have made any changes inside the python so obviously if you have made any changes it's simple process we have to just reload the re restart the service to see the change but in the case of xml file if you have made anything any changes inside the code we have to go to the apps menu and from the apps menu we have to upgrade the corresponding module to see those changes so it obviously it's a hard process so some might, some of the people might have think whether there is any easy way to do this so as we have this released a video on that watchdog package someone has already commented out there whether there is similar way available for the xml file so yes there is an option available so in this video we will see how to get the xml changes without upgrading the module so currently if i go to the hospital module and i will open the patient's form view so if i go to the patient's menu and if i open the Odu dev patient here you can see in the form you have got different fields so what i will do is that i'll just go to the corresponding file and i will remove this field so before to get the field name i'll just activate the debug mode from here this is the debug mode extension that i have installed in the firefox browser so if i place the mouse here you can see the field name is name underscore seek and from here i'll just take the corresponding view id so the external id of the view is patient form now i will go to the pycharm and to the custom folder and if i take the om hospital and if i search for the corresponding form so using the find in path option i'll just search for the external id patient form so here we have got the corresponding form and if i scroll down and if you see you have got the name seek field here so what i will do is that i'll just remove the corresponding field from the code so i'll just remove the name seek from here so it's removed so if i reload the screen this field will get removed from the view so i'll just reload the screen so once the screen is reloaded you can see the corresponding field has been removed from the view without updating the module so i'll do the same for the age group you can see the field name is age underscore group so i'll go to the xml and i'll just remove this line so that's done now i'll come to the ui and i'll just reload the screen there is no need to upgrade the module to see the change or get to get the effect of the change so you can see age group has also get removed so let's try for the email field also here i have got the email id i have removed it i'll come here and i'll just reload the screen so that's done here you can see the right side of the screen has been entirely removed so what we have done is we have just removed the code from the xml file and we haven't restarted the service or we are, we didn't go to the apps menu and upgrade the module so yes there is option to get it so we will see how we have done that so you can do this for the uh, xml fields buttons reports everything you can use this so what you have to do is that you have to pass if i go to my configuration edit configuration and if i take my parameters along with minus c or dot conf file i have passed hyphen hyphen dev space xml so this is the responsible thing which help us to read data directly from the xml file rather than reading from the database so if this is not passed it will read from the database not from the corresponding code so once we upgrade the module those changes will be saved into the views ir.ui.views and system will read from the ir.ui.views so but when we pass this hyphen hyphen dev space xml system will read directly from the code itself so during the development time you can just pass this as parameter hyphen hyphen dev space xml so once that is passed system will directly read from the code now let's try the same for the buttons so here we have got two buttons that is create appointment and print so let's remove this print button and see so the method is print report so i'll just drag to the top and if i take the header here you have got the button so i'll just remove it from here and if i reload the screen if i reload the screen you can see the print button has been got removed so simple thing so i'll just click on ctrl z all the fields has to be come back now i have 
press the control set so all the fields has been reverted back now i'll reload the screen so you will see the buttons and all the removed fields so if you need to change the positions i'll just copy these field and i will paste at the top of this group so that it's done and i'll just collect the indentations okay now i have to reload the screen so you can see the patient id has been moved to the top earlier it was under the age group so right now we have changed it has been come back so let's try the same in the report so i'll go to the sale order the default module of odoo and if i take any records so here we have got a so 0035 and if i print this report i'll click on print and if i print quotation order you will get the corresponding report so here you have got an error i think something the code that i have changed just might be the record rules issues so i'll just create a new record i'll choose some products and i'll click on save button and if i print the report from the print button i'll just reprint the quotation order so once i print the report it's still loading and if i open this report the layout there is some issues might be some packages issues so just ignore the style of the report so here you can see there is description so i'll just take the code of the corresponding report in my odoo that is i'll go to the add-ons and if i take the sales module so if i scroll down where is sale yeah i have got the sale module here and if i move to the reports folder here you have got sale report dot xml and here you have got description now what i'll do is that i'll just add description odoo made something new here so i have updated description to odoo mates so here right now you are seeing description so let's print the report once again and see what you are getting so I'll print the quotation bar order again so it's still loading and if i open this report you can see the description has been got updated to description odoo mates so this will help you to save the time without going and upgrading the module and suppose if i remove this if i go to the edit configurations and if i remove this dev.xml from here and if i click on ok and if i restart the service once again this change won't be there and if i print the report once again it will be description itself so let's print the report once more it's loading and if i print the report it will be description instead of description or mates so it has been got translated so i have made some changes earlier so i'll just ignore something has been wrongly working in the sales module so i'll just show you if i go to the sales uh, hospital module itself and i'll take the patient's form and open this so right now we have got i'll go to the patient.xml file itself i'll just remove the age group so if you check the configuration file we have removed the dev.xml that we have placed here okay service is restarted so from the code right now we have removed patient field that is name seek and if i reload the screen here i have the patient id but on reloading the screen it won't get removed as we have removed that parameters so let's wait so right now you are seeing it so once you add if you go to the edit configuration and if you add dev.xml here click on ok and if you restart you can see running auto pin minus c confile dev.xml and if i reload the screen this patient id won't be there as i have already removed it from the view so let's wait until this module has been upgraded so you can see it has been removed patient id is there let me check the code yeah name seek is here so i'll just remove it from here so right now age group has been removed so if i restart again the patient id will be disappear so that's all about this video what you have to do is that along with the parameter you have to pass hyphen hyphen dev xml so if you like our videos you can click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the updates thank you